What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are trying to make it over the hump. But first, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, aka Not So Fresh from the Salon. But one more week until I get my locks twisted. Yes! BKA, the People's Gym Fan. So, really don't have no news for you, but I got the most important thing that you probably need to know all day. And that is, you should be visiting the Breeze Tees website. Here we have where you can create your own custom shirt. What you would do is go to the website, click on what color shirt you like, find an image that you like, upload it, check well, you gotta advertise the other shirts first. It's better sort than sorry. We got the beast mode activated. You can put it on anything. Look at this. You can put it on anything. Look at the price changing. Back over. Please turn that back over. The price back over. Hey, it's changing accordingly. Okay, now now we to the part where you are. Go. Really, Jay? Yeah. Oh my god, I hate that y'all see these bloopers. They don't be no let me know this stuff. Okay, so now we're on. You can create your own customized shirt. Find that one picture that you love so much. Click your image here. Upload it. Make sure it's in PNG format because you don't want it with the white background on it. We'll yeah. try to zero it out. Yeah, we but zero. You, I got a couple. I'm gonna zero the background. But if you can, you know, upload like one that is strictly PNG format. Choose what color garment that you want. Oh, what we have here is someone from Black Ops. Yep, yeah, Call of Duty. Yes. Oh, but yeah, keep going. Yeah, so you just upload, click on it, upload it, place it kind of directly in the center. We would do that anyway for you guys, so you don't have to worry about all of that. Then you click save. Boom. Bam! What color you want? Boom! Add it to your cart. Then you hit checkout. And you're good to go. You're good to go. So let me tell you guys, I know a lot of you guys are signing up on the list, but you're not using the code. So you see this up here where it says save now? Use the code save now for additional savings at the checkout. Just type that in, and that's going to knock some, uh, some coins off your total price. Yeah, man. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right, I miss you guys, though. Tell J.E. stop trying to get rid of me. And you can choose any shirts you want. <laughs> choose any shirts you want. We got your shirts in today. So, look, we ordered our shirts. We got your shirts in. We're going to be adding tanks and stuff up there. Uh, I'm going to be adding the tanks and stuff like that. Bro, we even got, look, look. This is something, because I order stuff before I send it out to y'all and stuff like that, because I, I like to test it. Bro, we even got the slim fit hoodies. Look at these slim fit hoodies, man. Could you imagine you can you can walk around and do your thing with your own personalized slim fit hoodie? I'm adding those on the site as we speak, man. So you know you got the regular hoodies. We're gonna have the slim fit hoodies. Um, you know, you're gonna have the dry fit ones and all that good stuff, man. So so y'all make sure y'all check out the site, man. Anyway, and, and anybody that order stuff, that's y'all stuff. The people that ordered yesterday, that's y'all stuff. We are waiting on what we waiting on right now, we waiting on the stuff to come in, man. Um, we waiting on the uh, papers to come in so we can press them on there and uh, do your artwork, man. So, yo, I appreciate y'all, man. A lot of people ordered yesterday. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. And uh, we gonna keep on doing it. Like I said, find any image. It will tell you how big it's gotta be and all that. Bro, I miss my morning workout this morning. I feel so bad. You ever miss your morning workout and you just feel like, bro, this sucks. And you keep trying to figure out a way to get to the gym and you realize, I ain't supposed to be working out twice a day anyway. This is just a luxury. So, you know, hey. First world problems, man. But look, the Beast Mode activated tank, all this stuff gonna be up there. First thing we got in the news today, though, man. Check it out. Um, EJ got suspended. We was talking about this on yesterday. And it said, uh, somebody said, hold up. EJ got suspended. What did he do? And then somebody replied, Blaze replies, he made a skit about Kobe way too early. Of course it was... Of course, it's always our job as comedians to go out, I mean, to go, I guess you was going to say, go outside of the boundaries of society. But obviously, this is way, way too early to be remotely funny to 99% of the public. I get it. I get what they're saying. And um, then I think the coup de grass or what really killed it, like you said, how, how diehard Kobe fans be on 2K. I saw the video. I thought the video was in very poor taste. I'm not going to lie to you. It was way too early. And uh, as y'all can see, if y'all know, I think I think the whole thing happened. I think TMZ reported this stuff. It was around 3 o'clock or something, Eastern Standard Time, or, 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 you know, something like that. It was almost 12 o'clock West Coast time, so it was 3. It's 3.30. It's obviously way too early. And then he got retweet for Kobe. Like, bro, ain't nobody fucking with that, bro. There's nobody. There's not one single person on the planet 30 minutes after somebody dies that's fucking with that. 
ain't nobody fucking with that. We know that you do stuff and you do stuff in jest and and you gotta be, you know, stuff like that. All this stuff, we got that, man. And pretty much what it, all he was doing was just saying like, it's gonna be people on 2K now just, just shooting face and saying Kobe and then people gonna be yelling them at him and stuff like that. Maybe that would've been funny in a week. Maybe it would've been funny in a couple of days. Maybe it would've been funny like, like some of the other Kobe memes that, that's making people laugh um, right now. Like, uh, let me let me find let me find my boy, uh, Young Jerry, bro. We was laughing at all types of stuff last night because it's a couple of days later, and you know they're talking about Kobe, Kobe, uh, Kobe probably dropping sixty on Jesus right now, something like that, bro. Like like stuff like that. Like um, they got the one where where they got the angels in heaven talking about uh, you know this new guy's gonna this new guy's annoying where you know he's shooting and he's shooting jump shots in the halos, stuff like that. I mean it's it's funny. Like those things are like feel good type things that just make you be like, okay, help you get on through stuff like that. Just make you laugh. Like, yeah, if anybody would do something like that, you know, he will. It, it will be Mamba, right? But like, bro, that's just way too early, way too early. And then the relight for Kobe and stuff like that, bro. Nobody gonna be fucking with that, man. So, so you know, it wasn't anything against you personally per se, but. That bro, people not fucking with that that early, bro. It's like it's like two seconds after it happened, bro. And you, and like the first thing you do is rush to make a video. Like I couldn't even do. I don't know, man. I, I don't even want to talk about that, man, because I I, nigga, I I don't like negativity. So anyway, up next, man, we got your boy Chico Filo. He has made the BP bill, and he says it's overpowered. I don't know, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Was it funny to y'all if y'all saw it, or was it just too early? I mean, I just, I just think it was just too early, and uh, and and Twitter thought it was too early too, so everybody flagged it, and then they said he came back and did it again, and they knocked it down again, and you know it is what it is, man. Hey, hey to each his own. Uh, comedy is subjective, but that is just, it's just way too early. Anyway, check it out. Chico Filo with the demigod, the new overpowered uh, bill, man. He put the bill out there, bro. It's really just the BP bill, and he's just showing how brain dead this bill is, man. This bill is just is, is literally brain dead. The only thing is that I don't like about it is it's just too many conditions with it. Yeah, you get Hall of Fame shooting. Yeah, you get Hall of Fame finishing. You only got gold, gold and silver uh, dribbling badges. And with the state of the game, of course you gonna go to the rim on people like that. But if you're going against somebody good, it's gonna be really hard to really do anything with this bill because it's just not quick enough. Like even coming off screens and stuff, you're gonna have some trouble. I, I know a lot of people do have a lot of success with it. I'm not saying that it's a bad bill, but I, I still think it's not, I don't think that this bill is, um, like I said, if you if you need Hall of Fame shooting badges and finishing badges, it's cool. I think it's better to go with the slashing playmaker and um and do the the Hall of Fame ball handling badges, but but have the silver finishing. I mean, gold finishing, gold shooting. That's what my boy T Mills will go with, man. And uh, like I said, that's a goaded ass bill. He T got both of them really, and he just feel like that this one is is the slower of the two. And sometimes you can't speed boost if you get cold. You got an ice on you, you stuck. But if you need that crutch. This bill right here is one of the best bills in the game, especially for, especially if like you like a beginner or something like that, man. And Chico's out there hooping with it. So, hey, it gotta be GOAT certified, man. Hey, uh, y'all go check out the video, man. Let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments. And uh, we'll go from there. Do you got this bill? Do you, do you prefer this over the Slash and Playmaker? Or do you prefer the Slash and Playmaker because you feel like the versatility is there? I just don't think any build is, I think it only got one defensive badge. I think you can make it with a few defensive badges. I just feel like the Slash and Playmaker is a better defender because it's faster. I feel like the Slash and Playmaker can finish just as well. You can shoot just as well if you're a good shooter. But um, this one definitely gives you a lot of crutches if you're not that good. But dribbling ain't gonna be the crutch. But now that the behind the back is gone, uh, I guess everybody's on a, on a level playing field with dribbling. NBA 2K Lab uh, put up a video about volume shooting. This is a volume shooter analysis, and it says that you gain, you also got to factor in uh, getting hot and stuff like that. But it says you gain a boost after every, you know, per shot by using this badge. And um, and what they're saying is, so look, look at this right here. Now. I'm gonna take myself out of the picture real quick, and uh, we're gonna see. So like, look, check it out. So they said on your first shot, 18%, right? The second shot, you're around 26%, so you get a boost. But it's about the same if you're using it on bronze and all of that. Third shot, you know, it goes up. Fourth shot, it, it all goes up incrementally or what have you. But more or less what they're saying is, this is a luxury badge, bro. This is not a badge that somebody like me should be using, um, even though it does help. 
and it does help you make the next shot. It's only a two to three percent change, you know, per shot. And then you also factor in this is on Hall of Fame. Factoring in you getting hot and stuff like that. So um, it's a luxury badge. They put it in C tier. If you are a person that shoots the basketball a lot, when you get to seven percent, when you get to your seventh attempt, you, it's gonna be around a ten percent increase. That's definitely worth it. But I mean, ten percent, almost a ten percent increase over your over your sixth between your sixth and your seventh attempt. That's dope as hell. But it's a luxury badge. I don't have that many shooting badges. I don't have the badges to waste on that. And I'm not gonna get that many shots, especially in the park. Like somebody like T who's the lead guard i feel like a lead guard can probably use this or what have you but the secondary and the tertiary guard i don't think they should really be looking to use that just because of the fact that it's not going to really help you because you're not going to take enough shots to make it be effective but those guys feel like and they and i think they definitely agree they definitely did agree in the video but to, to find out the total analysis go over there watch that video and now uh, let me know what y'all think man up next man we just got some funny stuff man i love these guys on twitter man these guys i know y'all seen i know y'all have seen um lord adrian and his, and his crew on twitter man let's watch this video man rko out of nowhere oh my god he's busting him wide open and now he's stalking his prey he's come oh with the high name look at him look at how you son of a bitch he's had enough pulling him by the hair Oh, RKO again! He's climbing on the top. Here we go. One time bomb! Oh, he missed it! He missed it! And now he gets up Stone Cold! Kick! Stop! Oh, he sells it perfectly, bro! I love these dudes, man. These are the RKO out of nowhere, Randy Orton! That son of a bitch! The rattlesnake! Not the rattlesnake. What is the viper? Randy Orton! You know, hey bro, I love these joints, man. They they really be tripping me out with them joints, man. Also, I saw this one right here, man. If y'all saw, um, sorry I missed your call. Did I, did I not even show y'all that? I hope I did. But anyway, and then I sorry I missed your call, man. Check this out, man. I hope it's like when, when LeBron today, fans and, uh, a lot of great and, I hope and uh, come when up, LeBron brother. and Kobe fans get together. Spectacular. Oh, I hope you, you get together. Spectacular. Yeah. spectacular. I hope you have a spectacular you week, bro. You got something you want to say? I got, hey, wait, hey. If y'all ever see this, uh, sorry to bother you, man. This is hilarious. You smell great. You smell, you smell great. great. What is it? Smell that? even better, buddy. Burberry, what you got on? Mm. Nah, I ain't got nothing on. Just regular deodorant. deodorant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. We smelling good. We smelling, yeah. smelling good, good brothers. brothers. Yeah. You, you are yeah. awesome, man, and I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Help me find yourself. <laughs> yeah, we should go out. Get drinks. Don't get drinks. Yeah. yeah. How many yeah. drinks? How many drinks. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. All of them. On me. No, it's on me. On me. It's on you. This is one of the funniest scenes in any movie ever, man. But like I said, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. And just in case I didn't show this while I was doing it, uh, I can't remember if I did, but. Oh, can you out of nowhere? <laughs> Look at him, the rat, the viper, really stalking his prey. Hold oh, the high knee! Look at him! Leave him alone! He's had enough, you son of a bitch! He's had enough! Another RKO! Nobody's ever taken two! Oh my lord! Here we go! Uh, Swats up, Bob! He missed it! Oh, and Stone goes to his feet! He grabs it! Kick! Stunner! 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 Okay, I love them dudes on Twitter, man. Anyway, like I said, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Did EJ deserve what he got? Do you feel like the Chico Bill or the BP Bill is superior to? Three things. Did people, did, do you feel like uh, EJ got what he got, got what he deserved? It might have been funny in a week, but it wasn't funny then. Ain't shit, wasn't, wasn't shit funny on Sunday. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Some things were funny Saturday, a lot of stuff was funny yesterday. Wasn't shit funny on Sunday. Um, and and I think he just found that out the hard way. Uh, do you think, do you prefer the BP Bill to the Slash and Playmaker or the Slash and Playmaker to the BP Bill? I like the Slash and Playmaker, you get more defensive badges. And I think the silver, I mean, I think the gold finishing and gold shooting are just good enough. Volume shooter, do you use it? And, um, hey, and that's it. And are you rocking with that? And are y'all gonna hook up some of them shirts, man? Go check out the shirts. I'm putting tanks up right now. I'm putting slim fit hoodies up right now. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Town. Godspeed!